There are no words to describe how Northern Pike tastes. This is the real Yukon experience. Hi everyone. It might look like we're here in British Columbia still, but we're actually not. Uh, Rodney and I have traveled all the way up to Yukon to do some fishing. We were actually here last year for uh, some pike, grayling, and lake trout fishing. We're going to try to hit all three species again, but today we're going to focus solely on pike fishing. We tried a little bit earlier this morning up by Tagish, but the fishing, they were a bit moody, just like the weather behind me. We had some instant bites right away. We thought that fishing would be quite hot. And uh, in fact, once they were hooked once, they didn't come back. Dennis, our friend, he uh, suggested that we come up to Little Atlan to do some more pike fishing. Um, it's an area that's been pretty productive for him. And it's always nice to see different parts of the territory. So we're going to try to catch some pike here out of the lake. Beautiful scenery around us. And hopefully we have some beautiful fish to show you as well. Pike are ambush predators. They will sit and wait for something yummy to swim by and then they'll attack it. So on this lake, oh jeez, do you see that? <laughs> okay, flashed at the top. Now my heart's pumping. But um, man, that was a hard hit. Definitely way easier to tell from weeds versus fish. I was, I was kind of curious. I'm like, am Maybe I just- He's falling oh. right there, he's right there. Big one. Right I know, there. I don't, I don't, well, ah. Yeah. I, I don't know how to water. do this part. It's, I should have practiced. Yeah, but it's got to be deeper water too. Uh, he was kay. following. He was, that so, was the one. So, like I was saying, pike are ambush predators and they will sit and wait in the weeds until they see something yummy. Like a, whether it's a, a little fish or a lure. So we're fishing right on top of, of the weed beds where the fish can sit and hide in. I love how shallow it is. And it's neat how you can see the fish right at your feet. So clear, sandy bottom. Oh no, he's right there! <gasps> he's really? right there! Come on! Yes! 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 Good job! Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh. He was off. Oh. oh, bugger! That's hilarious! That was a hard hook set, like, oh. Man, usually with pike, they bite right at the beginning, but these yeah. ones, for some reason, they just follow it. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's a little, not a big one. Okay. Sometimes you don't really know the size of these until you. Here, I can get the cradle, Dennis. Sure. Uh, that doesn't sound no, too bad. It's not small. <laughs> Do you know you have right beside you the best netter? Yeah, I know. It's awesome. I'm excited. No, about I'm. That. <laughs> Wow. He's a nice one. Yeah, that, he's okay. He's ready. Okay, good. Oh, not the front end. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep him in the water. So here. I can lean over. Is that the tail? The tail's right. It's about 26 inches. So we're gonna be eating this one, and we'll make a nice fire and fry it up and enjoy it. Did you see that? Yeah, that was a good set. No, it popped off. You sure? Oh yeah, 100%. Okay. I thought I lost mine a couple times. Oh, <laughs> nice. much sad. That was a nice hook set though. Money. Fish on. <laughs> that's a weed. Really? Yeah, that's totally a weed. You're making that weed look really good. <laughs> it's a weed. It's a freaking that, weed. Because we're drifting, right? No, that wasn't. It was a weed. I oh, could feel it. It was a hundred. I would let it go. I don't think it was a, that was a weed. 
Let the people decide. The only way that was a weed is if we were drifting at a bigger click than that. Yeah, that was, that a, was a weed. <laughs> that was 100% a weed. I have fished enough where I can tell weed versus fish. You must have had a lot of weeds co co <laughs> together because that was a pretty strong weed. <laughs> it was, we were drifting so fast that my spoon got caught up in the currents. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is another weed. Okay, I want to see you play this weed out. <laughs> Let's see you bring this weed in. No, this one's a fish. It was a fish before! <laughs> no, it was not. It was too! Oh my goodness. I want to say I'm... Look how little he is! So we're going to release this fish like that because it's too small to keep. There you go. How was that for releasing? Quick release. Kept it wet. Didn't bring it into the boat. We're done your drift. No! It's Rod's drift next. No! Yeah. Okay, fine. I've been preparing to build up my resilience for Kitty. <laughs> oh, yes! Whoa. Whoa. No! No! Don't give up. That's so sad. See, I can feel it bumping weeds, I can't but even. it slides right through. Yeah, see, I feel like I'm hovering, like, just beautifully above them. Oh! I'm excited. Oh, yes! He's already right here, Dennis. Yeah, let me get the net. Oop. That one bit twice, I think. Yeah, well, whatever, it would look good. Head shaker. Yep. All right. Yes! All right. That was really <laughs> awesome. It was like. <laughs> Did it look oh. as good as he says? <laughs> oh, it was, yeah. I think it's beautiful. Very beautiful fish. Look at their I, eyes. I'm, I'm very, I think that was an awesome hook set. But They're the best. spotting, their tails like gorgeous little pike. Perfect for eating and I'm pumped. Is your knife fairly sharp? It's pretty good. Yeah, I got yeah, my sharp, sharpener right there. That. The belly's really good. I like the belly. Kind of the belly, so. All right. Solid. Now it's my turn. And then not too far. And now turn. Come up. Good. There you go. Uh-oh. No, you're doing great. There are no words to describe how northern pike taste, but it's it's light, it's the texture. I love how it has the small flakes. I feel like you can't screw it up with cooking. It just has a unique taste that's unbeatable. It's sweet, it's not fishy. It doesn't taste like fish, but it doesn't taste like any other meat. Like I can't, 
put my finger on it. We were just on the water a couple hours ago, and now look where we are. We're here at a campsite, laying the pike that we caught, hooking on the fire with Dennis's family. Like, this is the real Yukon experience. Well, thank you so much to everyone for joining us up here in the Yukon. It was a blast having you along for the adventure. I also want to say thank you so much to Air North for getting us up here. If it wasn't for you, we'd be driving. And I don't know about you, but I definitely prefer a couple hour uh, plane ride than a couple day car ride. I also want to say a big thank you to, to Jason and to Dennis for supporting this project and showing us around this beautiful territory. And cheers to Rod for making this video possible. Another last thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone watching this. We couldn't do it without your support. Um, if you are interested in seeing more of our adventures, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And for more behind the scene footage or fishing, foraging or hiking, you can check out my Facebook and Instagram at Kitty Canhoffin.